In this tutorial I will show you how to write code for three small DIV boxes inside one large DIV box. The final result will look like this. First open your Word document you will be using. I use Dreamweaver CS6 because it is a great software that lets you use CSS and HTML at the same time. If you do not have Dreamweaver, do not worry, just open up a notepad. Start by typing in the basic HTML tags that are required for a page to render. These include HTML tag, head tag, and body tag. Remember that for every tag you open, you must close. So first open the HTML tag, then close it as followed. Then open the head tag, then close it as followed. Then open the body tag right after the closing head tag, then close it as followed. Ok now we will insert a style sheet that will apply to this document. The style sheet is applied in between the head tags. Each box will have its own ID. Open the style sheet, then remember you need to close it. Do it now so you don't forget. Start by identifying the large box. So first insert a number sign. Since it is 2014, this may be known as a hashtag to you. Then give an identification name to this box, in this example it will be called large box. So after the name you will want to insert curly brackets. All the properties we define, like width, height and color, will go inside these curly brackets. Also, let's go ahead and identify the three smaller boxes. In this example, they will be called box 1, box 2, and box 3. The large box will be 800 pixels wide and 350 pixels tall, with a blue background. Each small box will be 250 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall, so that we can fit all three boxes inside the large box margin of 800 pixels. Also, each small box will have a different background color so we can differentiate between them. Let's begin by defining properties for the large box. After the opening curly bracket, hit return, and type in the first property name. Type in width, and then insert a colon, and type 800px, which stands for pixels, 
and then insert a semicolon, and hit return. A semicolon tells the document that you are ready to add a new property. Follow me as I define the rest of the properties of each box. Everything in Everything in between the body tags is what the browser sees. So let's start by adding the large box, by inserting a div tag. Type div space id, and then insert an equal sign. The id of the large box, is large box, so put that in between quotation marks. Then somewhere down the page you will want to close the div tag. Now let's insert the three small boxes. The div tags for all three small boxes will be placed inside the large box tag, simply because that is what we are doing. Notice how you can only see one small box. This is because the three boxes are overlapping each other. To fix this we will need to add floating properties to them. Follow me as I do this. Box 1 and 2 will flow to the left and box 3 will flow to the right. Now you can see all three boxes. However, notice how it does not not look good because everything is uneven. To fix this we will need to add some margin and padding properties. Follow me as I do this. Everything is coming together nicely, but The green box still needs to be pushed to the right. So let's do that.
Perfect. Once you are done, save your document as an HTML file. An example would be document name.html. Open the HTML document with your browser and preview what it looks like. If you have any problems or questions, send me a message and I would be glad to help. I hope you like this tutorial. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel.